is Cameron Hamilton TV here and welcome back to another video of Minecraft the World. Now we haven't done one for so long. I think we can we'll just do about the same size, but we'll try I think this episode's quite not that long. So I think we could maybe try and finish this episode. There's chapter or something. Come on, chapters, because sometimes it gets mixed in. And I can't remember what happened when I was last time, so. Stupid scavengers, stupid cliffs. This never would have happened. Okay, that's it. What happened up there? Oh, we got shaken down by a couple of scavengers, and they took our swords. Well, at least you're okay, right? I guess. Just haven't felt this pathetic since. Well, it's been a long time. Now we've got nothing to protect us against a normal Enderman, let alone a giant one. Well, I mean, it's not the first time we've been seemingly defenseless. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like it either. I'm, I'm really sorry, Jack. Well, if we ever see those scabs again, they're going to be sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, this is how they keep the mobs out. Mm. Oh, I remember now. We've got the Fred's area. Strangers! Strangers! Big top! What do we do here, Jesse? Wait, we're not strangers. We're, we're visitors coming to visit, you know, like visitors do. That makes no sense. No one visits us. No one. Uh, makes sense, I guess. I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone. Everyone in the underneath. Vinta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with a fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Sally, trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Don't they have more important things to worry about? Yeah, that's kind of an understatement. How can they care about trivia when their whole world is falling apart? I don't know. I kind of like... Never mind. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Benta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred. And locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. You have to help me. This is important. I don't have to do anything for you. Outsider. The door is locked until the contest is won. No amount of arguing will change that. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. I'm not breaking my promise to him. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I've, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. Nice. Well, let's talk to Kate then. So... So you're the one. The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. 
I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. Let's talk with the person called Hilda. Look, Henry and Hilda from Stampy. Hi, um... Oh, you want to know something about Fred? <laughs> uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hole. That's why I use two. And when yes. I take fun in my mushrooms, so Learn to fat to be free. <laughs> serious. Cool. Yeah. Sure. Makes sense. Uh, bye. Alright, time to make a painting. 
questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this. His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct. Well done. Next question. Kent. Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hole. Obviously. Very good. Jesse, Fred had a constant companion. A fine, feathery friend. What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. <laughs> really? Silence, please. Fred's pet was a very distinguished individual named Sir Cluxalot. <clears throat> Sadly, no. That is not correct. Good name, though. This round goes to Kent. Let's see if Jesse can catch up. Unlikely. Jesse, this is your last chance to steal victory. Listen closely, both of you. Okay, both the of us. The final question Same with me. is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? No one knows that. Fred didn't play favorites with resources. It's Birch. It's Birch! You, uh... Yes! Yes! I just guessed Birch that. was Fred's favorite. That's right! Jesse's gone! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. Yeah. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark <of Fred. laughs> Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. You know, Kent did a great job out there. He, he should have the uh, sleeping garments. <laughs> Really? I don't need your pity prize. Here's an idea. No one gets them. How about that? <laughs> Jesse. I hope you find what you're looking for. is there and the keep. Third is Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeoburg? And that must be the the Cassie.
This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. And it goes on. Signed by the chief. Now, I think I know who the chief might be. It's like a special book. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. Th this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. Maybe we shouldn't off. We don't know. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Okay. Wait. Home? And he wasn't talking about here. There wasn't a cabin on the map, though. Maybe it's a hidden map. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. One of you, the others. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Um... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge. Uh, I actually guessed. I suppose there's always a chance, but that seems unlikely. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Yeah, Rumors have been going around. I'm above that bedrock. Your friend Jack spoke of all these lands we've never heard of. Yeah, about that. Well, did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one, but I must admit I'm curious. Not the weapon exactly, but some promising clues. Romeo, Zara, and Fred had a cabin they called home. We need to find it. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. Oh, God. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Vita, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning. And we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take your care You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. You didn't have to do this. Thank you, really. You're very I like welcome. how they want to say something, but it's actually they're not saying people. what they want to say. You to say something, but they have to say something. Signal else. us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Okay, we've got power. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... You go on ahead. I, uh... I'm gonna stay here. Okay, stay here. It's I fine. Can. It's fine, Jack. No, Jack, we have to stick together. Not this time. Say we have to change. We're the best change. chance they've got to get out. Us and that portal Zara's fixing. I can do some good here. Help Binta convince them. Jack, what are you talking about? You're a good guy, Jack. Helping these people is the right thing to do. Thank you, Jesse. I hope you'd see it that way. Huh? Oh. Friends don't leave friends behind. It won't be for long. Once you get the weapon, we'll get out of here. Just like we planned. You're not even gonna let us try to change your mind, are you? No. Petra, I... Whatever. We'll 
see you at the Oasis. When you set off that firework Binta gave you, I'll come running. And hopefully I'll have a few new friends with me. Okay. That means to get more if they were to like this one. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we are. I did it first. How could I not? 
looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, a.k.a. the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, a.k.a. you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone so that was a ninja from last episode. Anyone who questions Jesse disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic. But you'd be surprised. Please, as if you could have actually killed me. I'm a ninja now, Jesse. You'd be surprised just how deadly I can be. Anyone else get chills? I got chills from that one. Well, but what am I doing wasting time talking? If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible. But dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. I tell him that I escaped, but that you tracked me down and took me out. Yes, I'm sure you'll be delighted by the description of our epic confrontation. Your final desperate struggles to cling to a fading reality. You're a real poet, Ivor. Ninja! I'm sorry I can't stay longer, yeah. but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. No, wait, can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> ah! You saw nothing. <laughs> you saw nothing. We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't, like, hallucinate Ninja Ivor. No, ah. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. Hey. Right, guys, we're going to end the video here. Um, yeah. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Please click the notification bell for notifications. I want to try before, right, before August, I want to try, well, before my two year anniversary, I want to try and get 50 subscribers and you'll get a pen, pineapple, apple pen music this track by me and Mr. Pen, pen Pineapple Apple Pen. So, yeah, please subscribe and peace.